Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video I'll cover some tips on how to recognize scam and phishing emails. I'm sure you've received many scam or phishing emails, but hopefully you've not become a victim. Some scam emails are easy to detect as fraudulent. For example, the scam that's claiming to that I won a lottery of one million pounds. Yay! Or this one claiming to be from a staff of a Hong Kong bank wanting to transfer 19.5 million dollars to me. Or this scam from the FBI supposedly saying that I've received a payment. But some scams or emails um, are well disguised. For example, this one here uh, claiming to be from Amazon. And nowadays so many people shop online and from Amazon. And it's easy to get tricked into this kind of emails. As you can see, the subject line says, we were unable to process your most recent payment. And uh, as you can see, um, they also have or are using an actual Amazon logo. But if you take a closer look, uh, you know, you will see some clues. So first off, uh, if you look at the email address, you will notice that it's not authentic, uh, not an uh, Amazon authentic email address. Also, if you take a closer look at the recipients, it's basically sent to the same email address, but just a variation of the email address. So that's another clue. It's being sent to several individuals. And finally, if you, you know, hover your mouse over this button or any link or button on a scam email, you will notice that uh, it's, it's taking you to a different URL altogether. So for example, this one goes to this URL. And as you can see, uh, it'll be either long funny looking weird looking URL and you should never by the way click on any of these links or download any attachments and never respond back either so here's another example uh, you know claiming to be from Amazon and I've won a hundred dollar gift certificate or card yeah I guess it's my lucky day but again a closer look you know gives you some clues uh, so first of all uh, the email address like I mentioned if you look at it it's again not an authentic uh, Amazon email address and if you look at the various links that are on the e uh, email whether they're text links or image links like this one here uh, they all point to you know another web address and uh, in most cases it's either going to be sort of a, uh, a redirection to a link that they want some traffic to or sometimes even worse it could be a phishing email where they actually harvest uh, your username and password and uh, in this one for example you will see that they even have a report spam link and making it look as if you know you can report this as spam but again you should not click on that because uh, what's going to happen is that link also goes to a fake URL and potentially a phishing link now this one right here is claiming to be from PayPal and uh, if you look at the subject line it says your account will be closed as you can see there's a typo there a will is misspelled and that's again another clue and if you look at the um, again the email address if you take a closer look it's, you're, go you're gonna see that this one is quite well disguised and you know it, it looks quite authentic but again it's not and in fact um, you know scammers can actually uh, fake that e uh, email field. In fact, I will show you an example where the one of the scammers actually sent me an email as if it's coming from me. So they actually, the from email uh, shows that it's it's from me to me. That's quite dumb. I mean, I, I don't know why they would do that. But that's again another clue. The other thing like I mentioned to you is the links. In this case, as you can see, this link goes to a completely different um, URL and again don't click on any of these links uh, this is the one that I was talking about again claiming to be from PayPal and um, it says your account will be limited if you not confirm and again as you can see you know gram grammatically incorrect but this is the one that I was talking about is coming from me to me um, and if you look at this email address right here I've obviously hidden uh, but both these from and to fields are both my email address. And again, you know, if you take a look at any of the links in these emails, you will notice that um, the links, they, they in most cases either go to 
a fake uh, URL or a URL that is uh, you know for phishing. This one is from .es, which is probably from Spain. And sometimes, as you can see in this case here, they're using more links. And when I looked at these links, these are actually authentic PayPal links. So even though they're actually going to the actual PayPal um, website, they're just trying to make it look as if it's real. But that one link uh, that I showed you, activation link, that is not uh, you know authentic uh, link. And finally, this one right here uh, is claiming to be from WhatsApp. Uh, basically indicating that I have a missed voice message and I know many people use WhatsApp um, you know I'm, I'm one who uses WhatsApp and it's easy to get tricked into these ones as well uh, again like I said if you take a look at the email um, address you will notice that it's not from WhatsApp as you can see it's uh, at aclama.com and um, the other thing is if you look at the um, button here, the link, again don't click on it, if you just hover your mouse you will see that it goes to a, another URL altogether. Hopefully it gives you a good idea as to you know how to sort of determine or recognize these scam emails. I've um, uh, published two other videos on my YouTube channel uh, of different other scams um, so you know take a look at um, those videos and um, you know keep yourself uh, up to date and uh, stay vigilant and if you found this uh, useful feel free to share it with your family and friends and uh, you know if you received any scam emails uh, feel free to share your experience or you know feel free to share your tips as well thanks for watching and stay cyber safe